Okay, I thought I'd just do a quick uh, maintenance video on removing the uh, air valve components from this uh, Omni 4000 airbrush. Uh, Badger and Thayer and Chandler airbrushes share the uh, common components in the air valve assembly here, so I'll show you that on this airbrush. Um, if you just want to get to the spring inside here, then you don't need to take the trigger out. So I'll just show you how to, how to take that out. Now first of all what you'll need is, um, I believe this is a 1mm Allen key or hex wrench and uh, we'll just insert it into the hole at the bottom and uh, just loosen it off and then you'll just be able to take the brass nut out okay and then with the same wrench I'm just going to hook out the uh, the spring so there we go it's a very small spring that's all there is to it so basically that's the nut and spring out. Now I think I'd recommend actually taking the trigger off to remove the rest of the valve because you've got to relocate the uh, the trigger back onto the uh, the valve stem so we'll just undo the chuck nut and take out the needle. Now I'm just going to wind this back a little bit take any spring pressure off the off the trigger and I'm just going to pull that up. Right okay now what I've done with this, that this area is is really tight straight from the factory, so you do need to get some pliers on it. But what you don't want to do, obviously, is damage the uh, the airbrush body. So I'd recommend getting a pair of pliers and uh, gluing some leather strips onto it. Now that way you can apply quite a bit of pressure on your components and you won't damage them at all. So this is a pair of uh, Leatherman pliers actually, but I'd, I'd recommend just getting a pair, a cheap pair. I do both surfaces, it's quite good for doing undoing various things. Now I've already undone this prior to the video. As I said it was pretty tight, but this is just finger tight now. So it's a very fine thread. Okay, there you go. So that's the air valve assembly. You can just see the bottom of it uh, of the plunger there. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a I've got a very fine jeweler screwdriver here, so I'll just push out the plunger inside just so you can see that component as well. Got to be careful with all these parts; you don't want to damage anything. Okay, so that's the plunger. As you can see, it's got a very small rubber uh, O-ring. To seal everything up, and that's the actual part that the trigger sits on. So that's the whole uh, assembly taken to bits. I doubt whether you'd need to do it to be honest with you, but just in case you do, uh, I just thought it might be of interest to some people. So we'll put this back together again. I'm just going to drop it uh, back into the body. Next it's the spring and then the nut. Just make sure all your threads are lined up properly. You don't want anything cross threaded. You probably want to knit this up on when it's back on the airbrush actually, but I'll just do it now. Okay. Never do anything up too tight. You can always nip it up again if it, if there's anything leaking but if you do it up too tight and you damage anything that's it so you've got a that's your spring tension on there okay so we'll just insert this back into the uh, airbrush body as I said make sure you get all your threads lined up it's a very fine thread on this bit so just be careful there we go I'm just going to do this up finger tight. I really don't think I need to get the pliers on this to do this up anymore. It's, it's um, these machine faces here are, are really well machined, so you won't get any air escaping. And that's that. That's um, that's the air valve assembly uh, put back on the airbrush. And then we can just uh, we'll relocate the trigger. Just push the back lever back slightly, and just set it back on the plunger. You'll feel it going back on the plunger. 
there we go that's that was easy and then we'll just uh, pull the needle back in just fit it touch the tip of the nozzle and that's it 